Good afternoon, Clock House. It must be 2.30 on a Friday because here I am again for the 12th week in a row with hot chocolate with a head. I just cannot wait until we can actually be together and have hot chocolate and marshmallows and real chocolate in the staff room and celebrate together. But for now, we can't. I hope you're all well. I hope you enjoyed Achievement Assembly this morning and are keeping going in these difficult times which can seem very boring and very strange. But I know you're all doing your best. So here I am again with my hot chocolate and with my book ready to read to you. This week I am going to nominate the site staff. So Mr Gary and Mr Ron and all the cleaners who are doing a really good job to keep our school safe and clean whilst we're in this position. So I'm sure they're going to have a special drink and I hope you've got your special drink ready. So here we go. This is another one of my favourites. This is called Mrs Honey's Hat. Mrs Honey had a hat. On Monday she wore it when she took her grandson Peter to the park. She bought him some bubble gum and sat on the bench with her knitting. Peter thought, those feathers would make my arrows fly better. So he pulled the feathers out of the hat and his bubble gum stuck to the brim. But Mrs Honey didn't notice. On Tuesday, Mrs Honey wore her hat to visit a friend. She sat in the garden in the shade of a tree and ate cakes. Some birds flew down to pick up the crumbs. Those cherries look good, they chirped. So they flew off with them. One little bird left some eggs behind, but Mrs Honey didn't notice. On Wednesday, Mrs Honey spent the day at the seaside. The sun shone and the water was just right for paddling. Mrs Honey felt very happy. Let me see what's in her hat. Afterwards, Mrs Honey took off her hat and sat in the sun. A hermit crab thought that shell would make a nice new home. So he scuttled away with the shell and left it some seaweed behind. But guess what? Mrs Honey didn't notice. On Thursday, Mrs Honey picked some dandelions to make wine. It was very hard work. She took off her hat and put it on the fence. Uh oh. <gasps> a cow in the field saw the hat on the fence. What beautiful big gut buttercups she mooed. So she took a mouthful and her bell fell onto Mrs Honey's hat. But Mrs Honey didn't notice. On Friday, Mrs Honey went to see an old castle. Just look at those cobwebs, explained Mrs Honey. This place could do with a good clean. A big black spider dropped onto her hat. Hurrah, she said. This lace will make a good strong cobweb. So he hurried away with her, the lace and left his old webs behind. But Mrs Honey didn't notice. On Saturday, Mrs. Honey took her cat to a cat show. There were all sorts of fine cats, but she hoped that hers would win the first prize. An alley cat saw Mrs. Honey's hat through the window. That ribbon might help me to win a prize, he thought. So he pulled it off her hat and left some fish bones behind. But Mrs. Honey still didn't notice. On Sunday, Mrs. Honey went to church. Everyone seemed to be staring at her. Whatever can it be, she wondered. Perhaps it's time I bought a new hat. Can you see all the different things in her hat? After the service, Mrs Honey hurried home. She looked in the mirror. Then she noticed the bubble gum, the eggs, the seaweed, the bell, the cobwebs and the fish bones. Goodness, she exclaimed, I got a new hat. But she wasn't sure she liked it. Bit of a silly story. I think you'd notice if somebody kept doing that to your hat. Well done this week, Clock House. I'll see you again next week for hot chocolate with a head. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.